All right, Taylor Heineke fans, you're probably not going to like this video. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel and other platforms that this video might show up on. If you are new here, thank you for stumbling across this channel. I try to put out content on the Washington Commanders on a daily basis, at least maybe about six days a week if possible. Uh, so you, you're going to want to subscribe to this channel so that you will never miss a video release when it comes out. And with that said, let's talk about Taylor Haneke. I think this might be the end of the road for Taylor Haneke. I, I love the guy. I know all of you fans love him too, but, you know, have we witnessed the ceiling of Taylor Haneke? I, I think the answer to that is yes, we have. Now, so far, you know, Haneke, he's 2-1 he's and one after starting the last three games, but his numbers have been, well, you know, mediocre at best. He's had flashes of brilliance and, well, flashes of ignorance. And even after saying that, I'd probably still take Tyler, Taylor Haneke over Carson Wentz at this point. I mean, that's just the truth, right? But I digress. Is this the end of the road for Taylor Haneke? Now, he's going into his fourth start on the season, and he's going against the undefeated Philadelphia Eagles the 8-0 Philadelphia Eagles, who, of course, they're going to want more than anything to be 9-0 after the Washington game. They're going to want to drop Washington to 0-3 in the, the uh, division. It's a good possibility. And, you know, when you look at the big plays that Heineke has made, you know, the, the no-look passes, I mean, really, the no-look passes as in he has his eyes closed, the passes that are the 50-50 balls downfield that are thrown into triple coverage, you know, like the, the one that he threw to uh, uh, Curtis Samuel last week and the ones that he's thrown to uh, Terry McLaurin. I mean, those were, those were exciting passes, but when you go back and you look on, on the tape, there were passes he should have never thrown. He had wide open receivers that he could have thrown the ball to, could have had chunk plays, but he went for the whole thing. It's like do or die with, with Taylor Heineke. It really is. Um, you know, having said all that, putting Carson Wentz back in the lineup, you know, once he's healthy, you're going to have a quarterback there who I think doesn't have a pocket presence as much anymore. Holds on to the ball too long, takes too many sacks. So would it be any better putting Carson Wentz back in? I don't think so. I could be wrong, but I, I don't think so. So here's the question now. What happens if Washington loses against the Eagles on Monday night? And, you know, of course, they're like a 10.3 or 6 underdog or something like that. Of course, they'll be 4-6 and six on the year. They'll be 0-3 in the division. And, you know, suddenly they find themselves on the outside looking in. Do they stick with Heineke? Do they go back with Wentz? Which I don't think at this point you really do. Or do they go with the rookie? you know, for the last seven games and just, you know, see what he can do. Folks, Ron Rivera is in a predicament right now. He really is. It may not matter much which direction he goes, honestly, because if there's a change in ownership next season, he may be gone regardless. So, you know, I sure I am really sure that Ron Rivera has this in the back of his mind. He knows that Heineke has his limitations, and he also knows he's just plainly out a more exciting quarterback to watch. I mean, he's fun to watch. Carson Wentz has not been fun to watch. <clears throat> now, I will I will admit though, 
Carson Wentz will put all his all into the game. I mean, I love those blocks that he had in that Chicago game. I mean, that was fantastic. But I don't know, maybe, maybe, just maybe, it, it's time to see Sam Howe, the rookie. Who knows? Maybe Sam turns the, the fortunes around for the team. And maybe so that in such a way that a new owner is going to be like, you know, Ron, I'm going to give you one more chance because you're, you're a great guy. You've been through so much and you are a good coach. I think Ron is a good coach. A lot of people have said the game has passed him by. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, that's, a, that's another question you ask. What if Hal comes in and he turns things around? What if the commanders end the season? Maybe they miss the playoffs, but they may wind up with a winning record. Maybe that's enough to, you know, A, keep Ron Rivera for the next owner, and B, start Sam Howell next season. Now you have your quarterback. Or what, what if Heineke somehow plays the game of his life next Monday night, pulls off this upset against Philly, Does Ron Rivera stick with Heineke for the rest of the season? What does what does that mean for Ron Rivera's job then for next season? Because we know that Heineke is not the future of this team. One thing is only for certain is that these next seven games, of course, you know, maybe the last seven games of the Dan, Dan Snyder error, think, think the good Lord, <laughs> Definitely going to be very interesting for Coach Ron Rivera. Very interesting indeed. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.